Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety system and this topic will be on voting system. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. Ok, we will understand about the basics. Basics of voting system in SIS. One of the key design parameters in safety instrumented system design is the architecture or voting arrangements of the various subsystems that comprise of a safety instrumented function. The architecture or voting arrangement is essentially the use of redundant pieces of equipment for the purpose of creating the ability to tolerate a failure of one component and still have the SIF perform its actions. Meaning, uh, we wanted to have the SIF uh, safety instrumented function performing at all times as well as we wanted to keep some redundancy, some kind of availability in case of one instrument failure, one valve failure, the other one should take over. That is why during the design stage, it is decided and design engineered carefully to have a two, one out of two or two out of three like the different type of voting systems. This is applicable for all the three main components of the safety instrumented function which is sensor, logic solver and final control elements. Okay. Okay. Selection of an appropriate voting arrangement will consider the failure modes of SIS equipment, the level of safety that must be achieved and the rate of spurious failures and the associated consequences. It may be financial or potential damage to the equipment, etc. Whenever there is any trip going to happen, that may cause a financial damage to the property as well as the sales may be down or equipment may get damaged. Eventually, everything will result into financial loss for the company. We are going to discuss about the different voting systems in SIS. In the process industry, SIS design, there are several common voting arrangements. For the purposes of this discussion, we will focus on the sensor subsystem. But the same discussion will also apply to the logic solver and final element subsystems. As you know, these are the different subsystems comprises of a complete safety instrumented system and whenever it is performing a particular a function, it is known as safety inverted function. SIF architecture is decided by the failure tolerances of its components. It may be a sensor, it may be a final element, it may be a, a solenoid valve in the final element, it may be a sensor failure or any instrument cord failure or electronic cord failure in the PLC, everything. It may reach still higher level using redundancy. Whenever the redundancy is there, still will reach the higher level. The number of instruments will depend on the reliability of each component defined in its FMEDA. This is known as failure modes, effects and diagnostic analysis. These are the terminologies that uh, we will understand when you go into the respective detailed training on the safety instrumented system. The three architecture or simplex voting or one out of one, duplex or voting one out of two or two out of two, triplex or voting two out of three. These are the different common architecture which is used in the industry. Voting system in SIS, there are two parts to the voting arrangement description. We are telling about one of the one, one of the two, two of the two and all we get confused. Sir. So, we need to understand what is first number and what is the second number. The first number is the number of devices that must vote to cause a trip for the trip to occur. See, one of the two means it is one instrument has to failure out of two instrument. Okay. The second number is the total number of devices. Thus, in a 2 out of 2 voting arrangement, 2 devices must vote to trip out of a total of 2 devices 
for the shutdown action to be taken. There are two device, two instruments available for the shutdown action. Both must go for the tripping. That is known as two out of two in this example. Okay, now we'll go over the briefs of one out of one, one out of two, and all. Okay, simplex or voting one out of one. The voting principle one out of one involves a single channel system and is normally designed for lower level of safety applications. Immediately results in the loss of safety function or process closure. See in this example, we are seeing only one valve and one sensor. This is indicated as a sensor switch or transmitter which is connected to the PLC as an input into the input card of this PLC and whenever the, there is a high, uh, high level indication or high, trip, uh, high temperature or low flow or any process condition according to the design it happens it gives an input to the PLC and PLC processes the logic according to the uh, engineered uh, programming and then gives a command signal to the final control elements this is a ESD emergency shutdown system valve we know and from our earlier discussions these valves are operated through a solenoid valve so here what we, what is indicated is air supply of this solenoid valve which is uh, controlling the operation of this emergency shutdown valve so in case of simplex or voting one of tough one this is one transmitter and one final element so this is again the transmitter is only one and one element also only one so this is only doing the safety function in our example as well as in the actual process so one instrument has to work uh, has to work or indicate and give the signal to the uh, plc to take the safety function to make the safety function to work so we'll discuss about the one of tough two duplex or voting one out of two or two out of two okay the voting principle of one out of two was developed to improve the performance of safety integrity of the system based on one out of one if a failure occurs in a channel the other is still capable of developing a safety function unfortunately such concept does not improve the rate of fall strips even see here we are seeing two sensors and in this case the PLC is acting and working on a two different independent valves so this is known as two out of two, one out of two or two out of two also can be done during the engineering as per the requirement process requirement and low pass study and all okay even worst the probability of a false strip is almost doubled hence this is considered to be a better design than one out of one okay one out of two is always better because there are there is a second transmitter or second valve to protect the uh, equipment in this uh, one out of two discussion so there are two transmitters safety transmitters which is connected to a plc and uh, the plc is performing the logical uh, calculations and giving the output to two independent valves so here in this case it is known as one out of two either one sensor going high will, uh, and a uh, cluster of one valve can cause the equipment or the particular process zone to make a shutdown two out of two there are two configuration one is one out of two and two out of two in this case both has to work so the uh, here we'll discuss about it the main disadvantage of a single safety system which is one out of one is the only one failure will immediately result to a trip because there is no chance only one instrument is working when it is indicating a, a trip uh, level signal like a high high indi high temperature or high flow or high pressure such conditions it directly gives a signal to the safety plc and plc may gives a command to the valve to close this is a one out of one but the duplication of channels in a two out of two application significantly reduces the probability of a pulse strip 
as both channels have to fail in order the system is placed under shutdown. On the other side, the system has the disadvantage that the probability of failure on demand is twice as higher than that of a single channel. So, in this case, in the two out of two uh, configuration, the process pipe will be coming and uh, going distribu getting distributed through uh, through valves, and the output will be it will be a common input line coming and going to the first valve. Similarly, it goes it parallel it goes to second valve and uh, uh, goes to the process. So, two out of two means both has to close. Then only the process uh, will get disturbed and uh, it will go for a safety trip. Okay, another kind of voting which is uh, considered to be most better and uh, but it has a more uh, requirement or not. It has a more number of instruments. See, this is 2 out of 3 or triplex voting. Triplex or voting 2 out of 3. In that voting, there are 3 channels, 2 requiring being okay in order to operate and comply with the safety functions. Here, you see, there are 3 instruments. Three transmitters. They are connected to the safety PLC, and they are connected to the valves. So in this case, what we are looking is only the transmitter part. As told in the discussions earlier, we are concentrating only on the transmitter part about the transmitter subsystem. This is a logic server subsystem, and this is a final element subsystem. So our discussion is on the sensor subsystem. Here we are seeing three different transmitters. They are connected to the safety PLC and the safety PLC is doing the logical operations and giving a signal output to the final control elements valves. So, the 2 out of 3 voting principle is better applied when there is a complete physical separation of microprocessors. So, the processors also need to be triplex or can be duplex for the better uh, as a better engineering practice it is better to go for a tri triplex processors i mean triplex cpu based plc this is a uh, triple model redundant however that requires they are located in a three different modules although the most recent system have a higher diagnosis level safety systems based on two out of three voting still keep the disadvantage of probability of failure and demand which is approximately three times higher than that those of the one out of two based system. See here the probability of failure and demand on the two out of three goes higher because this is the only disadvantage and uh, that's why it is requiring a detailed engineering to do the design. So in overall in overall composition 2 out of 3 is a better design, but on the economics part and for the cost of insulation and maintenance and all, because here in this case, all the trans 3 transmitters insulation is going to uh, incur a cost. And in future, for the maintenance, they need to work on the 3 transmitters as a proof testing and routine maintenance, as well as if it is going to be in the valves also, the valves need to be dropped and uh, checked for the zero leakage. As for the seat leakage requirements and all, the maintenance cost also going to be high. But on the safety part, there are two parts. In the safety part, if you are looking at, and the design requires to use a 2 out of 3 as per the calculations, in the cell calculations, it is ideal to go for a 2 out of 3. On the economics part, it is a, uh, a bit disadvantage. Okay. So, uh, here we are going to see a table about the Fourier strip rate and uh, probability of failure and demand as we discussed briefly in the previous slides. So, we need to understand how it the mathematically how the number looks like because all this you cannot understand from this uh, presentation only. This requires a specific detailed training on the safety instrumented system to get a certification from the authorizing agencies. Okay, This is for our basic understanding about the safety instrumented system. Therefore, the table below, the 2 out of 3 systems has good performance in comparison with a simplex 1 out of 1 voting arrangement with respect to safety and nuisance strip avoidance. Even so, the PFD of 2 out of 3 voting system is 3 times higher than the PFD of a 
one out of two system and the spurious drip rate is three times higher than a two out of two system while here we see see one out of two it is a spurious drip rate is nine to the power of e power minus six in two out of two this is two to the power of e minus nine and in the two out of three it is eight point seven to the power of e minus nine so this is three times higher i mean the probability of error on demand is three times higher on from 1.4 1.6 it goes to 4.3 so while the two out of three system is the most complex and costly it is still popular when higher sills like sill 2 sill 3 need to be achieved but the plant cannot tolerate the high spurious strip rate associated with one out of two voting with one out of two voting the higher strip rate because one out of two is a the safety as well as economics part this is a better configuration but uh, the plant cannot tolerate the high spurious strip rate associated with the one out of two voting see here see the spurious strip rate for the one out of two system is very high compared to the two out of two systems now in this configuration any one transmitter going to high or going to low as per the for the low power study and sill study so that will call for a protection that will call for a action safety function and protect the equipment by tripping the equipment but the spurious trip rate looks to be on the higher side so the design has to be considered considering many factors like probability failure and demand spurious trip rate and the constructional features of the equipment plant and equipment and the sensors as well as the maintenance in future so all these things need a detailed engineering study before implementation okay Thanks for your understanding.